If you've watched Monday's stream, you will know that I am no longer working on my giant Christophsis mock. But that doesn't mean to say I don't have all the components of a mock other than a base plate and personally building a massive base plate, which is just flat stone road. It's not my idea of a really fun mock. So we have all the vehicles, we have all the minifigures and a few accessories to go around to create a really cool scene on my desk that will then be transferred onto this shelf. Right now, the gunship is on the shelf. The Coruscant Guard gunship does not belong in a Christophsis mock. So I will be replacing that with the AV-7 turret. And if you're wondering what I mean by stream, I now stream on Mondays. It was a spur of the moment thing last Monday. Next Monday, I will be streaming at the same time. And for the next few Mondays leading up into December, we're taking a break for December and we'll be back for the new year if this all goes well. So definitely go check out that stream. It was recorded using an old webcam, but I have a brand new mic for next week. I have my camera set up and ready to go. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it goes a bit smoothly. But now let's check out these Clone Wars models. And as you can see, I've split the desk up into two sections. We first have our Republic heroes over here on the left and there's definitely a few scenes I can reenact for them so keep an eye out there might be an Instagram post with a few special images and then we have our separatist army over here which I was going to include this tri droid in but the tri droids that are in the Clone Wars movie at the start are the massive ones that take up the whole space of this desk and these just look so small and measly it's also worth noting that I built this AAT 1 to 45 scale, which is the same as the official ATTE Lego set in the background, and this AV7 cannon up the front. But the AATs aren't actually the fully sized versions in the Clone Wars movie. Now, the numbers of the Clone Wars movie are all over the place. The droids, especially, I've had them in rows of 10 because when I did them in rows of 8, I got a bit of backlash on one of the videos because technically, in the real world, they should be in little squads of 10 droids and the AATs do take up a big portion of these front squads. However, in the actual movie, it does change. They are in mostly 10s and 8s throughout the whole seven seasons and movie of Clone Wars. But throughout this movie specifically, they are in rows of 10, in rows of 8, in rows of as few as six individual B1 battle droids, which is definitely an interesting take on the squads by the way check out how i've got them to hold their blasters try and get it a bit more accurate to how we see it on the screens and there are a ton of droids here you might notice just a little bit back there are some b2 battle droids we do have one non-regular b1 because i run out of b1 battle droids but we do still have three droids on the inside there you can just about see you get a better look in the actual video where I go over this AAT and we've also got the tactical droid on the top I really would like the I forget the name of the separatists leading these droids in the movie so I'm going to have to make a mock of that character but I'm happy with how the separatists have come across it would take me weeks to get the base of this completely told out and plated out to look like the ground of the movie but I'm happy with the droids just lining the base here and this can be moved straight into the shelf at the end of the video. Now over to the Republic, as you can see, we've got a few named clone troopers in the middle, Rex and Cody, who have been mocked together using their phase two variants, just with some phase one helmets, including Rex's old one that now goes for so much money. And then we have some custom Jedi Knights out the front. In fact, most of these minifigures are custom characters. The only two that aren't are this clone here and the other one at the back there. The rest of them have been built with some sort of mashup of other minifigures. Anakin is a pure custom, but even Kenobi has the official Lego head on a custom torso and legs. And again, I have gone over those characters previously here on the channel if you did want a closer look. I'm sure the videos aren't too hard to find. We also have a minifigure scale, 145 scale size R2D2. And I have use some of these crates. I had a load more of these crates put aside for this mock and I don't know where I put them. So I built two more using the parts I could find in my inventory. And if we look at the AV7 cannon 
over here, which isn't as well lit as I'd like it to be. You'll notice there is a clone trooper on top, which is getting a really good vantage shot over towards the droids. Perhaps he has the shot that can take out the tactical droid. But I'm really happy with how this display looks, but it's not going to be staying on my desk. It is going to be put on a shelf. So let's take a look how it looks on the shelf. So this is how I've decided to display these on the shelf. Now, what I think I should do is have a whole shelf dedicated to separatists so I can get my other separatist ships down the side and then have the same for clones. But right now, we've got the city above it. We've got Hogwarts, which hopefully that and Minecraft will have working on soon. And then whilst we're here, I can actually show you my Funko little cubby hole as well. And I've got a load of other bits here. So I could get rid of these two, move these elsewhere and try and have some sort of clone or separatist display spread over the two. But really, I think I'm just going to have to wait until I can get another unit or perhaps move out, get some more space to display more of my Lego sets or potentially take up a different shelf altogether. But this is what I've decided on. The ATT and Gunship already had a home before this shelf, so they will be going back. We've got our clones over to the left and I've paired up my AV7 cannon with the bark speeder and the two walkers and then we've got all of our droids over to the right and I prefer them spread out like this than the little plate they were on so I'm definitely keeping these like that I might add a droid car or something in the mix but again I'd rather have the space to the left for more separatist units especially the custom leaders that I'm planning on creating so thank you so much for watching let me know what you think of this little showcase mock diorama it's a display so let's just call it that check out all the other videos on screen now i'll leave the av7 and the aat video for you if you haven't checked them out and as always may the bricks be with you